All right, you were wondering about how much it costs to live in Long Beach, California. Well, this video is gonna be all about the cost of living right here in Long Beach, California. Stay tuned. Hey, how's it going? My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about the cost of living in Long Beach, California. We're going to talk about housing, whether you're going to be buying, renting. We're going to talk about groceries, health insurance. And I'm going to compare this to some of the cities that neighbor us to the north or to the south. So you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button, help me out, and hit that bell so you will be notified with future films that come out. All right, so let's get started with the big question in the room here. Now the housing prices are what makes Long Beach, California more expensive to live in than compared to the national average. So as you can see, the national average for a medium price home is $231,200. The California average is $552,800. Whereas the Long Beach medium price home average would be $603,600. Now in a little bit, I will show you a map of all the different areas here and what it costs to be in those areas. Yes, Long Beach is almost triple than the United States average for housing. What? But when you look at some of our neighbors to the north and some of our neighbors to the south, there are considerably some much more expensive cities than there are in Long Beach. But the median income due to the really good level of jobs is actually really high here. Now we've talked about owning a home, let's talk about renting. Well, renting a home in Long Beach is actually crazy. It's gone nuts through the last few years. And that's and right now, so a lot of the rents are actually higher than buying a home. For a studio apartment in Long Beach, we're looking at approximately $1,200 compared to the national average of $821. Now for a one bedroom, we're looking at about $1,425 compared to the national average of 930. For a two bedroom rental, we're looking at approximately $1,900 per month in Long Beach and compared to the national average of about 1150. For a three bedroom, we're looking at approximately $2,500 a month compared to the national average of about 1500. And finally, for a four bedroom rental here in Long Beach, we are looking at around $2,725 compared to the national average of about $1,800. Now we talked about you actually getting into a home, whether you're going to be buying it or renting it. So let's talk about your monthly cost for all your utilities. So right now, if you average everything else, it'd be about $175. That's your gas, electric, and sewage. And if you want internet, there are starting packages about 60 bucks, $70 a month. But the one thing about the utilities here in Long Beach is you don't have to run the air conditioning or the heater full time because the weather is so nice. Matter of fact, we should be down at the beach right now because today is November 16th. Hey Surrey, what's today's weather in Long Beach, California? It's currently clear and 71 degrees in Long Beach. Today's high will be 77 degrees and the low will be 62. So you're living in your new home now. You're paying your utilities. How are you going to get to work? Well, Long Beach is ranked 27th in the nation for bike friendly. We have bike paths. We have bike trails. We have bike stuff everywhere. And even if you don't have your own bike, we have bike sharing stations for you. All right, so you don't want to be a pedal pusher going to work. We have other forms of transportation. We have the Metro Line. That will take you from the beach to downtown LA, to the valley, to the Inland Empire, and everywhere in between. Now, monthly passes for the Metro are starting around $100, but they do offer discounts for seniors and disabled where you can get a monthly pass for $20. And they also offer student discounts too. I think about $24 and then $43 if you're in college. Okay, so you don't want to ride the metro, don't want to ride your bike, 
Right now, gas prices in Long Beach, California are ranging $4 to $4.20. I live right there by the Long Beach Airport, and I just paid $4 a gallon. And this is November of 2019, so whenever you're watching this, just leave a comment down below, and I will let you know what the gas prices are at that time. Now, there is one more option for transportation all around the Los Alamitos Bay here in Long Beach. That's the Aqualink. You could take it from one side of the bay all around the Queen Mary to the other side if you work in downtown Long Beach. I believe that's $5 a trip, but if you don't use it for work, it's a great day adventure to take the family out. It includes many, many stops. The Queen Mary, the Aquarium of the Pacific. It's just a fun day out. It has a full bar on it. Okay, so you work. So what do you work for? So you can go out and enjoy the fabulous food that Long Beach has to offer. Now, a good meal at a good restaurant will run around $50 per couple. But if you enjoy the libations that Long Beach has to offer, it's gonna run you a little bit extra. Good times there, and that's just one of many, many breweries here in Long Beach. And yes, since we are in California, we do have our fair share of the legalized dispensary. Now, most of them you just have to be 21, show your ID, and you can walk in, get whatever you want. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is health insurance. As a whole, Long Beach ranks below the national average, or even below the California average. Now, I don't want to get into specific numbers and that kind of stuff because that will vary for everybody. Like I said, we are below the national average. So we've talked about the cost of living in Long Beach. So what I went ahead and did, looked up the top 10 most expensive cities to live on the West Coast. And Long Beach finished number nine. But there are some cities here on the West Coast that are considerably higher, such as San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and even San Diego. Now, out of that top 10 on the list, there are four other major cities that are more expensive than Long Beach. But the Long Beach medium income is very comparable to those except for San Francisco. Now, I'd like to show you an example of what you would get for rental in San Francisco. This 350 square foot home for $2,745, no pets, but it does have a dishwasher. Or if you would like to buy a house in San Francisco, the medium home price there is $1.4 million. So as you can see, you will be paying twice the amount that you would in Long Beach up in San Francisco. Now, what I'd like to do is give you a little bit better understanding how Long Beach is related to Los Angeles. Long Beach is in Los Angeles County, but it's about a half hour outside of downtown Los Angeles where they have the garment district, the financial district, the jewelry district, every district available, the floral district, and Staples Center where the Lakers play. So a lot of people who do live in Long Beach will commute up to downtown Los Angeles to go to work or just stay here in the surrounding cities that they live in to work in. So what I'm gonna do here is show you a map and show you how much it costs to live in surrounding cities. Right here is Long Beach. In our surrounding cities, we have Lakewood, where the average cost is about $600,000, which is a 3.3% rise from last year. Up here, we have Bellflower. Bellflower's medium price home is $515,000, which is about 8% higher than last year. Now, for the investors, we have Compton. The median price home here is $440,000, but that's a 10% rise from last year. Over here we have Carson. Carson is a basically broke even from last year where the median price homes are at $530,000. Right here is the 605 freeway which divides LA County to Orange County. So there is a lot of places to work and a lot of places to choose from to live in the Los Angeles County, the Long Beach. And like I said, I am a local real estate agent here in the Long Beach and surrounding areas. So if you have any questions about the neighborhoods where you're thinking about moving, I will do the research for you because there are so many sub cities around here. 
If you want more of the walkability factor, you want to enjoy the nightlife, the pubs, everything here that Long Beach has to offer, we can take care of that. If you're looking more of a family atmosphere with a bigger yard, we got those areas too. Just reach out to me any which way you want and I will find your ideal place to live or your ideal place to play. So let's find what you want to accomplish here in Long Beach or the surrounding area. So I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, whether you agree or disagree, leave them down below. I will be checking them and I will answer any questions you may have there also. So leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's get together and get you your dream home here in Long Beach or one of the surrounding areas. Until next time.